a thick bamboo forest to explore with small villages along the way making local products and foods. And shh, don't tell anyone, but there's an undiscovered hill with a view to beat all views. This is Drone and Phone, and today we're walking the bamboo forest of Guanning. Welcome to Drone and Phone, the show where I take my trusty drone on my back here and the phone that I'm filming with you right now and show you some of Asia's best one day outdoor adventures. Today I'm in Guanning, about an hour and a half outside of Jiaoqing. I'm on a bike and I'm going to discover the bamboo forests. much overlooked Jiaoqing district is just four hours on the train from Hong Kong, three hours on the bus from Shenzhen and an hour and a half from Guangzhou International Airport. The ancient city built along the West River is a great starting point for exploring rural China and in this series we bring you five one-day adventures that can be accessed from the city. It's a one-hour bus trip from the Star Lake Hotel bus station to Guanning and then another bus to Huangshanzhen. Get off at the Law Wo stop and you'll find a small village along the Gui Shui River where you can start your adventure into the bamboo forest. I spent two hours exploring on a bike, occasionally coming out of the paths for a bird's eye look over the forest. Venture out on a sunny day to see shafts of light falling through the trees and be sure to allow time to check out the different bamboo products in the village you pass through. For lunch there are plenty of country style food options, many of which come with bamboo shoots. If you feel adventurous, ask for the bamboo worms. Actually, tastes quite nice. Well that's my morning, a very pleasant time cycling around the bamboo forest. There isn't really a need for a bicycle actually, it's quite a small area and plenty and plenty of things to discover though from old villages to walking down these beautiful old bamboo paths to going to the pavilion where you get a spectacular view over the forest. This afternoon I'm going to do something a little bit different. In the afternoon head to Guishu Jen for what must be one of the province's most spectacular views. It's still a secret though and takes some finding. From Guanning bus station, take the bus to Mong Kong and ask the driver to drop you off in the village. Once there, ask about the route up the cliff and prepare for a scramble on all fours behind a house up a steep incline. It's a breathtaking view and a photograph you'll hang on your wall. From the village you can walk back into Guanning enjoying local village life and lots of small scale bamboo product factories that seem happy to let you wander in. Well just a couple of kilometres to go along this road before I reach Guanning and end my trip. You can see I'm walking along a small road with the river behind me, quite spectacular. Now, Guanning is a very different experience to anything I've done previously. Certainly no real infrastructure for international tourists, but none the same, well, well worth a visit. In this morning, I went to see the tourist area of the bamboo forest, where there is a little bit of infrastructure and a very beautiful forest to walk around and find your way a little bit. And then in the afternoon, I found a really quite spectacular place, very much out in the wilds you need to have someone either show you or you need to be very careful about trying to find it but if you do it has got to be one of the best views in Guangdong province. Now if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode please like our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash drone and phone you'll also find all of our previous episodes nicely catalogued on drone and my name is DJ Clark and this is drone and phone.